Creating a custom ingredient on Respal is fairly straightforward, but we'll go over a few of the options as well as things to watch out for in this video. Um, make sure you know that when you hover over the information icon, it'll provide a lot more detail on that option, uh, more than we can go into in this video. So definitely use those um, as you're going through the process and have questions. And the first decision you have to make is whether you're adding a food or a non-food ingredient. If it's a non-food ingredient, that's something like labor, packaging, um, it won't have any nutrients associated with it. You'll be able to add uh, an hour of uh, processing or packaging labor uh, to your recipes just as you do normal ingredients, um, and that can help with costing and allows you basically to create a full bill of materials. But we'll go over food ingredients because that's a lot more common. So the ingredient name, uh, a little warning pops up here just making sure that uh, you've searched our database and you're not duplicating something, but just enter as detailed name as possible. Make sure it's useful for other users if it's a public ingredient. Next, you can enter the brand, uh, and probably more important is the URL if uh, where you're getting the data. Um, that allows us to verify an ingredient and allows other users to see that it's, that it's of high quality but you only have to worry about that if it's a public ingredient. If you're creating a private ingredient, other users won't see it, so you don't have to worry as much. Um, but generally, you'll want to do public ingredients if it'll be useful for other users to see as well. So next, you'll enter the serving size. Maybe that's a tablespoon or a quarter cup. Depends on um, depends on your product and the, the ingredient you're, you're adding. Um, say we'll add a quarter cup here, and that's 40 grams, and then for that amount, you'll want to enter all of the nutrients, so calories, grams of fat, etc. The other big thing to watch out for is when you get to the vitamins, this field is not in percent. So if your label says 10% of vitamin A, you want to click the blue button to enter it as a percent, enter 10, and we'll handle the, uh, the conversion for you automatically. Same with vitamin C, say it's 5% vitamin C, um, you just don't want to enter that 5% in this field, you want to enter it as a percent. So that's all the required ingredients. There are also optional nutrients uh, like potassium, magnesium, um, optional fats. Uh, those are all optional, but enter them if you have the data. And there are more uh, serving size and descriptions towards the bottom. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all we have here. Uh, as always, let us know if you have any questions by email or phone, and we're happy to help.